So I know this is a super competitive field. I know that a ton of nurses are looking to get into aesthetics and I wanted all of like the answers to the most common questions to be in one place. This will be everything that you need to know about getting in. What do you need to do? Do you need extra schooling? Where do you get training? How do you get hired? What sort of degree do you need to have? All of that will be in this video. So if any of that is of interest to you, then keep on watching. I'm Nadia. So I posted a video on TikTok asking what questions nurses had about getting into aesthetics and I got a ton. So I got a ton of questions. Most of them were similar. So I like grouped them together, wrote them down, and I wanted to be able to answer them in one concise place. So this is that video. <laughs> this is my dog. He's kind of loud. So excuse him. Okay, so let's get started. I wrote all the questions down so I wouldn't forget anything. A lot of people asked if you need bedside experience first. So like, do you need to work in a hospital as a nurse or a clinic or have some sort of traditional nursing experience before you can go into aesthetics? The technical answer is no, that you don't necessarily need experience in bedside nursing before going into aesthetics, but it is extremely hard to get into aesthetics even if you do have experience. So I can only imagine that it would be harder for a new grad unless you're in a situation where you were already working at a med spa maybe as an MA or just like at the front desk and you were in nursing school and you got your degree and everyone loves you and they give you a job that's great that's awesome that could totally be your path so if you are in nursing school that would actually be my advice is to try and find a job at a med spa or like a plastic surgery office but if that's not you which it probably isn't because i assume that's probably pretty rare know that you don't need experience but experience i think will help you in the long run you're gonna want to come into aesthetics pretty self-sufficient as a nurse at least it takes so much time and money to invest into a new injector to train them that I don't think it should be the responsibility of whoever is training you to also teach you how to be a nurse because going through nursing school does not teach you how to be a nurse. Trust me, there's so many experiences that you'll need to have and go through and mistakes you need to make and you need to get used to being around all different kinds of people, touching people, putting your hands on people, touching needles, reconstituting meds, dealing with dosages and medical math and stuff like that 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 only having a job will give you so do I recommend having experience yes is it necessary no the next question a lot of people asked is if you need aesthetic experience and it's kind of like the chicken or the egg situation where everybody wants you to have experience and no one will hire you without experience but how do you get experience without getting hired so this can be super frustrating I understand but yes it can happen obviously everybody started at some point with no experience you just have to be, you have to market yourself as someone who will be good at the job, will be easy to train, will bring in a lot of clients and a lot of money. And maybe you're not that person. I think realistic expectations are super important. This is a job that requires hustling. It's like you're the hairstylist version of a nurse. Like you need to bring in clientele, you need to attract people, keep them coming back, make relationships with them. So I think it's important to be the right person and figure out how to show up as that person or to convince people that you're that person so that you get hired. Okay, question number three. A lot of people ask, do you need training or some sort of certification? No, you don't. I'm only gonna speak to the laws in California because that's where I live and that is where I work and I'm not gonna pretend to know the rules anywhere else. But there is no official certification for an aesthetics nurse. I believe the aesthetic associations of the world are working to make that a thing to become more legitimized, but it does not exist now. In California, you just need to have a nursing license to be able to inject. And then it is the responsibility of your workplace your boss whatever to train you make sure that you're safe have malpractice insurance for you and you can start working I do believe in Texas that you don't even need to be a nurse but Texas is literally the Wild West so that's how I feel about Texas there is though plenty of training and certification opportunities available and they make a ton of money because they know a ton of nurses want to go into aesthetics so go into those things knowing that they want your money they're not required for you to get a job either and if you do spend a couple thousand dollars on a hands-on training at some hotel you still aren't guaranteed a job 
So that's not the route that I would go. What I did and what I recommend to other people to do is take a couple of virtual courses. Palette Resources, I will link that down below, is a great resource, great website. They have awesome faculty and teachers. They have multiple virtual courses every month. They're less than $100. They're a couple of hours and you get like an actual certificate after you complete them, which is nice. Looks official. And then when you're going to apply to aesthetics jobs, it looks great on your resume that you put in that time and that you cared enough to be self-motivated and seek out information and education. So that is what I think that you should do if you're trying to get training before getting a job. So next question would be how do you apply or find aesthetic jobs? So these jobs are posted. You'll find them. They do exist. I don't know if you've ever used Google jobs, but it's pretty awesome. You can just search in Google aesthetic nurse jobs near me or aesthetic RN jobs near me. It'll populate a list. It like searches all of the job posting websites for you and puts them on a comprehensive list and you can apply or reach out from there. But yeah, they do, there are job listings posted sometimes. There's big corporations that you could work for like Laser Away is the one that's coming like off the top of my head. Um, there's a few different skin institutes that need aesthetic nurses and stuff. And those kind of places always post online because they're more like corporate, more official, more structured, more rigid. Um, so you might find jobs like that listed online or don't wait for a job listing at all, which is what I did because if you think about it, there's never a place that doesn't need somebody else somebody's pregnant about to leave you know what I mean like you don't know what's going on inside these med spas but if it's this is something you really want to do why sit and wait for a job posting you know what I mean I did a whole video on how I got my job so I will link that up here in a card and I'll put it in the description I just found the places that I wanted to work and reach out to them directly the two places that offered me a job weren't even hiring so job postings don't necessarily matter so somebody else had asked that there were no jobs posted, but there were a ton of med spas around her. How do I put myself out there and get noticed if no jobs are posted? So I also answered all of that in this video here. I'll link it again. Just reach out and be bold, make an amazing resume, and then find your contacts. If you can't find your contacts, find their Instagram and DM their Instagram and ask for the contact. And that I promise you will work. Flatter them, tell them what you love about their practice, tell them who you are and why you'd be a benefit for them to have in their practice. They don't owe you anything. They don't need to do you any favors. So you need to make it so you cannot be refused. A lot of people ask if you needed to be a nurse or if you could be like an LVN or LPN and do anything in aesthetics. I believe there is no state besides Texas that you can have a lesser degree than a nursing degree and still inject. So no for LVNs, no for LPNs. Some med spas do hire MAs though, and they're like totally vital to the practice. So if you're an MA in nursing school, that would be awesome to get a job at a med spa and then be a shoe in once you're a nurse, or you could just work as an MA in a med spa. You don't need to be a nurse at all, but yes, you do need to be a nurse or a nurse practitioner or a PA or a doctor dermatologist stuff like that somebody asked if they could work out of a salon or like a rented space not like positive how to answer that it depends who you are if you were a doctor you could work wherever you wanted next year so in 2023 in California you can be a nurse practitioner and own your own practice and no longer need a medical director so I guess you could technically work out of a salon if that's what you want to do so that sort of answers the next question of what are the requirements to open a business do you need an NP can you have just a bachelor's in nursing I believe a nurse could open their own business but you do need a medical director because you cannot prescribe medication and neurotoxins and fillers are technically a medication so you would need a medical director that was more than half owner of your business so at least 51% owner of the business would have to be an MD 
someone asked how they could get training like i said earlier i recommend palette resources they do also do in-person trainings i have never attended one so i can't tell you how good they are i'm sure they're great but they're also expensive you could also pay someone to train you a lot of amazing injectors offer that as a service you can either fly out to them or fly them out to you and do hands-on trainings with them i don't think that's necessarily a good place to put your money if you don't have any experience at because that would be very expensive so the best place to get training is from the job you were hired at somebody asked about the schedule and wanted to know if you could work 12 hour shifts instead of monday through friday i hear you girl i hear you the first time i was offered a job in aesthetics i had to turn it down this was a few years ago because of the schedules monday through friday nine to five and I just couldn't do it. I had little kids, they weren't in school yet. It was just, would have been impossible for me. And I was so used to working three shifts a week, like whatever days that it was just unrealistic. So this isn't like a question I could answer for you. It depends where you would be working. I'm lucky enough to be able to kind of make my own schedule. Like my boss works three tens. Some of the injectors only work six hours at a time, but we're lucky and it's super flexible where I am. Most of the med spas and plastic surgery offices will be Monday through Friday or like Monday through Saturday because it is an office and um, you'll be like you'll be working when the rest of the regular work people would be working and maybe even a little later because the regular work people have to get off work and be able to come to you. So I can't tell you what your hours will be but I have seen like all over the board. Some people work at plastic surgery centers and work like four tens so it just depends. Somebody asked, how long do you have to be a nurse before applying? There's no answer to that question because you don't necessarily need experience anywhere to apply. You just have to be a nurse. And last question is, where should I start to build experience before opening my own business? So this is awesome that you want to own your own practice or your own med spa or clinic or whatever. The best place to build experience is just getting a job and working. Now that I've been around the aesthetics world for gosh like only a month but I don't think I would be comfortable to own my own practice or be like the most senior injector at a practice for years. It's also a courtesy thing. It's kind of taboo. Like my boss, when she hired me, she expected me to stay with her for two years because it's really an investment that she's putting into me to train me from scratch. Like I knew nothing. So she's pouring everything into me to build me into like an awesome injector. So it's definitely courteous to put in your time with that person or for that place that's giving you a chance. I would never want to own my own practice. That's just not something I'm interested in. But if you do, that's great. Just make sure you do it tactfully and openly and be honest with the person you're working for, like letting them know your intentions because it's actually pretty common for people to get burned in aesthetics by like building someone up for them to leave and then become a competitor. So yeah, and I think actually a lot of jobs have contracts that you have to sign saying that you wouldn't, I'm not really sure what they say, but I think it's something like if you were to leave and open your own practice, it couldn't be within this amount of space from the one you're at now. I don't know, legal stuff, you know, but um, I believe that was all the questions. I do have a video explaining how I got hired, like literally everything that I did, the whole story, and I have been hired two times at two different places and I did the same thing both times so I think that that is important to watch and important to understand kind of how this industry works it's not like who shows up to the interview on time that's not how this works it's like it's a personality game for sure this is a very face forward industry like you are your business card your clients are your billboards it's totally different than any other nursing job so definitely watch that video and then I did just put out a video of like a sample of a day in the life of like what you do all day and as an aesthetic nurse so you guys can watch that as well I will link both of those in the description and if you have any other questions please comment down below or find me on instagram at nurse nadia k or tiktok which is much harder to talk to people but it's fun so thanks for watching guys bye